how to learn about money for kids. So is it really that different as a kid and an adult to learn? I have a new book coming out, makeyourkidsmillionaires.com. And it's going to be interesting to see the parents say, I'm not a millionaire, so I can't start. I have all sorts of techniques right now. So stay all the way to the end. I'm going to lay them out and exactly what you need to do today to start with your kids to learn about money. Specifically, I'm going to share with you, like, let's start at the beginning. What books do you need to read? I'm going to talk to, about what people you need to follow, philosophies you need to follow, because there are very different philosophies. It's just not all money. Money in the conversation and the search term does not get you to the same places. I'm going to talk about the number one event. And in fact, I might even give you tickets if you stay to the end on what can guarantee you're going to make money within a couple days. Just something to get started. The difference between a debit card and a credit card absolutely critical and even as young as seven and eight years old. So let's begin. So first of all, let's talk about why financial literacy and learning about money isn't even taught, right? I think so many people are just used to the school system, not only being in their daycare, but doing all of the teaching for them while they go to work. That's all fine. But financial literacy is never going to happen. It will not happen. It won't be approved in the school systems. Sharon Lecter, who's like my financial mom, co-wrote all the Rich Dad Poor Dad books. She actually got it into the Arizona school systems, but it's really, really small. I remember when I went to high school, they taught us how to balance a checkbook. That was like awesome. And now with all the automation, it's like totally, you know, outdated and no one does it. And then the problem is, and that's just to you adults, not only if you're a kid listening, is you think the banks are accurate. Right? You think just because they send you your electronic statement, you don't have to still reconcile your bank statement. That's not true. So financial literacy is not taught. We're just conditioned to do what I call the Warden June Cleaver, you know, old 60s, 70s thing, which is go to school, get a job, put your money in 401k and the whole thing's going to work out. Well, we're way past those times. In fact, I've been teaching this for about 20 something years. We've been past it for a long time, but a lot of you haven't begun. So first of all, you, whoever you are watching this video, just has to say, I need to be financially literate. Huge campaign I'm doing in the 2022 season is financial literacy. Just begin. So to that point, I need you to subscribe to my channel five days a week, Monday through Friday. I'm here. Hit the bell. It's a notification that you'll be here listening. At least give yourself 10 to 15 minutes a day, right? That's what, not even an hour may be over an hour that I'm asking for your time. And I, over the course of the year, will get you financially literate. So kids are going to follow their parents. So if you don't care about it, they aren't going to care about it, which is also where I wrote my next coming book. It'll be out on Mother's Day 2022 make your kids millionaires. And it starts, the book is age by age, zero to five is a chapter. What do you do? What do you do in six? What do you do in their seven? When do you give them a credit card? When do you give them a debit card? When do you start a car account? Who buys what? Do they buy their phone? Do you buy their phone? Do you employ them is what I'm going to teach you immediately in their tax write-off. Yeah, I would say if you don't get kids, you should get them because they're tax deductible. They're super awesome. And then once you employ them, you get them a Roth IRA. If all you did as a parent, all you did as a parent is get them employed, which means you need to have a company. And again, if these are, if this is your first video with me, go to my bar at the top, hit the search bar and just start learning about entities, corporations, why you need one, how to start a company, side hustle. I have all those that are here and videos already been produced for you and your education. But once you have a company and you employ your kid and you get them a Roth IRA, you put in $500 a month, that's 6,000 in total a year. That alone for 20 years will make them a millionaire. As long as you invest the money, obviously, it can't just sit there in cash. So one strategy that I encourage all families is to begin. So how do you do that? Well, you buy my Millionaire Maker game. Uh, I was the master distributor of the cash flow game with Robert Kiyosaki and the Rich Dad Poor Dad team for years, almost five years, helped put the cash flow game on the map. There's a little game that you've known about forever and ever that you could just start with your kitchen table. And I want you to gradiate. I don't want you just to park Monopoly on the kitchen table. I want you to start, so that starts the basic conversation. You can get cash flow, and then I want you to get my Millionaire Maker game. As young as eight can play my Millionaire Maker game. And because kids don't have the contamination of how you think about debt or what you think about starting a business, and they don't have any loss around investing, uh, they don't even know what a team is, they're just used to having playmates, they win. They actually become millionaires typically faster than parents. So how do you start learning about money with your kids? Put games around the kitchen table or a table that you actually keep up 
And I invite you to keep it up for a while, like play it for an hour, hour and a half a night, make it part of your home curriculum for your family. Or if you want to do it once a week, do it for two or three hours at a block and then come back to it and come back to it. And if you really perfect it, the advanced strategy of playing the game is you all take, you all start playing and about an hour and a half, two hours in, everybody stands up and takes a step to the right or left and you pick up someone else's PL and balance sheet. When you can pick up any PL and balance sheet and show a path towards becoming a millionaire, you got it. And your kids are going to be phenomenal. See, there's two asset classes that have hit the planet right now called cryptocurrency. A subset of that is NFTs. And there are kids becoming millionaires. I have a millionaire, 21 years old. I have another uh, gentleman who did 4 million in Bitcoin last year. Uh, trading creates all sorts of tax structures. The IRS is here. The SEC is here. These are our securities. Uh, there'll be more regulation around them. But a lot of you, you just, you keep money private. I grew up on a farm in Nebraska. We didn't talk about money. Right? And if we did, it was negative. It wasn't positive. It wasn't like we had a lot and what to do with it and what an asset was, what liability is, and what do you do with insurance to, I mean, think about it. Money is an everyday activity. Most of you, just to get through your day from paying rent or mortgage, paying for your car or however you travel, food, water, like you, you, ha you're, you have to pay for it. That means a financial transaction. So it's shocking to me how so many of you stay financially illiterate when you have to live in this business of money. I think money needs to be leading the curriculum and being an entrepreneur should be lead the curriculum. But that's why I'm here on the YouTube channel, not in a school system because I'm not gonna get there. So how do you start? You have to start leading it. You're embarrassed about it because you actually are a financial wreck. You know what? You just say, you don't, you don't have to disclose that you're a wreck. I would just say, you know what? Money is critical to us in a positive way. Watch The Secret, by the way, it's on Netflix. I'm in The Secret. Money comes easily and frequently is my saying. But you have to just start and say, as a family, we need to learn this. We, family, need to, you know, to change it. Sometimes your kids actually have better business ideas than you do. So learn it together, do it together. You don't have to be a millionaire and you don't have to become the teacher. You could learn it together. I'll be the teacher. So yes, I want to mentor you. I want to coach you. We're going to start on the YouTube channel. I have a podcast. I have regular live broadcasts. I have a marketplace. Let's go to what do you need to be doing? Every three weeks, I have a millionaire intensive and a marketplace where you and your kids can come and make money every three weeks. So if money is an issue or making money is an issue, is number one, it's okay. You're not taught. I'm going to teach you in a marketplace. So at the end, I'm going to show you uh, a direction on how to go get those two tickets or get tickets for your whole family. I don't care. I want you there. And I want to teach you and I'll be the mentor. You guys learn together and get on a path to become millionaires. Now, before you leave, I have to give you one awesome strategy, which is debit and credit cards. So most people just use debit cards casually. That's taking money directly out of your bank account. It's useless. If you, when you use a credit card, you have 30 days to pay that credit card off in full. So why aren't you using somebody else's money? Keep all the money in the bank. I'm going to show you there's all sorts of strategies to have your money make money while you live on a credit card company's money for 30 days. Pay it off. Do not pay them all off together. I have a whole video series. So again, search in my YouTube channel for debit and credit and how to use credit cards and all of those things. And we'll keep educating you. So go back and search for those. Or if you want to, I'd invite you to go all the way back to the beginning of my YouTube channel and binge watch the whole darn thing and keep it on in your background. So use credit cards, folks. And I'm going to teach you how to use credit cards to become millionaires and to use good debt to create wealth for you. So let's start today. I want to uh, invite you to get a copy of my book at makeyourkidsmillionaires.com and together start the journey. You can read it out loud. You can all read chapters. I'm going to be doing a masterclass series through the summer of 2022. That will be how to interpret and use the book in your life in a practical way. So I want to start with that. And then we're going to follow that up with a little application. And that application is going to be to talk one-on-one -on -one to my team members, talk about what your family situation is. We're super private about it. We're not going to tell. We just want to help you. So let's begin today and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.